She's a brilliant comedian. I'm thrilled she's on the programme. It's Sarah Pascoe. <laughs> Yeah, you Thank Hello. you so much for coming on. Thank you for Thank waiting. Thank you for having well. me. It's so crazy because you're watching TV and then they tell you to come in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so Sarah has just finished filming. You've come to the end of the tour and you filmed yeah. the last thing at the Palladium. Yeah. The tour is called Lads, Lads, Lads. That's right, yeah. Which is a great title for show. Why did you choose Lads, Lads, Lads? Oh, well, actually, uh, it was a stag do. They were chanting it at a train station <laughs> while I was lads, crying. Lads, 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 lads. Yeah. <laughs> and it inspired me. <laughs> what, is, what, is, what, is, what do we think that means when young men are chanting lads, lads, lads? What is that? I think it means they're very sad inside <laughs> and uh, feel very isolated right, because of toxic masculinity. They can't express their actual affection for each other. Yes. They have to get drunk and yeah. <laughs> do yeah. those kind of things. Luckily, I'm deaf, so I can't hear any of them. Uh, so, uh, so that kind of explains, but the show isn't about that evening as such, is it? No, it, what, but, what but I really wanted to talk about things like weddings. I went to a lot of weddings last year. I wanted to... I made myself do a lot of things for the first time, cos I think as an adult, I'm nearly 40, you can start to kind of get into a rut with things. I really wanted to kind of push myself. So new things? New things. Yeah, I went yeah. to a football match. I had my first ever Brazilian wax. Wow, I did okay. all these kind of things. So yeah. both, <laughs> of, the, both of those things... Really needed it, yeah. yeah. Both <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, and so let's, well, let's start with the waxing then. So, oh. went, let's go, let's dive straight in there. Um, That's what she said. <laughs> uh, so, now, the Brazilian holder, is that where it's, it's reduced to a kind of like a landing strip? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> well, <laughs> you're a young you've been single to a large man. You know all the new shapes. I, I don't really yeah. know. But yeah, it's kind it's of a small that. Room, it's kind of. They take it's kind a lot of, off. Yeah. Been, you're not bald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still look like an adult. Oh, that must be. But <laughs> there's a lot less. Oh, that must hurt. It does hurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does hurt. It's a very so, odd thing. So, what did you discover about yourself in the Brazilian scenario? Uh, <laughs> what did I discover? You have to do small talk with a woman who is doing quite painful and intimate things to you. And this person presumably does this on a regular basis. Yeah, that's what they do. Yeah. But they, the yeah. idea is to they get, try and get you chatting to distract you. From, yeah. from Anyone who's had a Brazilian will know this. So they might start with something like the weather. This woman started by talking about the Iraq war. <laughs> and um, wow. our role in that as a country. Wow. And um, her opinion on George Bush, which was ironic, bearing in mind what she was doing. Oh, <laughs> well, we think we know where she stands on bushes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> eradicates them. <laughs> <laughs> um, football. How did you find the football match? So was this another thing where you're thinking, OK, I'm going yeah, to a territory? Yeah, because, again, I'm really scared of kind of, um, I guess, big, mainly male groups. And um, I don't support a football team. I think it's incredible. I think the talent is incredible. It's exciting. Um, but so what I did is I wore a combination of kits. Um, I went to see West Ham versus Liverpool. So I wore, yeah, two teams. One. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I wore um, kind of a West Ham T-shirt, Liverpool uh, scarf and socks and an Arsenal hat. Wow. So that everyone knew that football was the real winner. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you do... Uh, a lot of Koreans I speak to, they cull their family life. Yes. For material, and you yeah. do that as well. I do. I Unfortunately, I can't keep a secret, <laughs> and um, I do. I talk about my personal life, which involves other people, and get into a lot of trouble about it. And yeah. so, do you have to square up with family members first? Uh, sometimes, yeah. It's good out of politeness. We talked a lot about kind of mums this evening, and mums are amazing because they're so funny without intending to yeah. be. And my mum, mm -hmm. she is honestly, she's my hero, and I'm so proud of her. She had me as a teenager. She had three children by herself, but she's a cold woman, <laughs> and um, she doesn't <laughs> stop doing things. Um, so like when I moved into my new house, she sent me a hammer without a note. Uh, just, just a hammer in a jiffy envelope <laughs> to protect myself from intruders. <laughs> just so I can hammer someone to death <laughs> in, in case they broke in. But nice to know she's thinking of you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you have a close relationship with her, you said she's... I think very, very close. And, um, and, yeah, and so and last year... So both of my sisters are younger than me. They've both got families and they're both married. Cheryl got married last August. And um, my parents have been divorced for 30 years. My mum decided that um, his speech at my sister's wedding, um, well, she heckled him. Like, it, like, he's got jet lag, he's flown over from Australia for the wedding. My mum decides now is the time. 
to ask him some questions. Yeah. <laughs> and so he stands up, he's very nervous, the paper's kind of shaking in his hand, and he starts by saying how much he loves my sister and how proud he is of her, and then my mum pipes up, then how come he never paid any child maintenance? <laughs> wow. He's a brilliant woman. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. And was that true as well? Yeah, it's tense, and, this, and we're still not really talking as a family. She also wore a white dress. <laughs> Oh, no. A white dress for Cheryl's wedding, and when, any, uh, when anyone asked her, like, oh, how come you're wearing white? She went, I paid for it, it's my f***ing day. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, you've got a new housemate in your life. You've got a new I've got a per tiny dog, oh, a, a, a puppy called Mouse, who I'm so desperately in love with. Well, look! <laughs> oh, that is an no. unbelievably cute dog. Oh, he's just so adorable. I and mean, we're all thinking how cute, and Clarkson's thinking, I'd put that in a bap and eat it. Yeah. In a <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking what a massive cock it's got. <laughs> Penis, Jeremy. <laughs> it's not that big, no. I mean, you think I don't it's think compared it's compared to mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tiny dog. That is yeah. the key. He's, he's, he's really lovely. He's a bit bigger than that now. He, I'm just, I, I'm so in love with him. And what sort of uh, breed mixing is he? He's half Jack Russell, half Springer Spaniel, and he's incredible. Do you know what? People have this thing where they call them like. Oh, like, oh, you've got a fur baby now, you've got a fur baby, which I think is such a stupid phrase because it insinuates you're kind of compensating but, for yeah. not having children. How can you compensate with something that is better? Like, <laughs> he's so much better than a baby and I didn't even have to tear my perineum to get him. <laughs> 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 I just went round to a lady. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so what are you doing? You're working on a new book, aren't you? Um, I've just finished my new book. It'll be out in August. Because your last book, uh, Sarah's last book, I'm sure some of you read it, it was called Animal. Yeah. And it was, it was kind of an anthropological look at humankind, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was... Um, I wanted to find out about how the female body evolved, because there's lots of really interesting things that are idiosyncratic about human beings in general and the, the, the um, adult human female body. And, and the next book is much more about kind of pornography and transactional sex, things that I hadn't covered in the first book. Wow. But I, I really... <laughs> wow. <laughs> but I really love... This is the great thing about stand up your days are all free and so it's so great to kind of research and write in the daytime and then work at night but you see you say your days are free but you're filling it with work yeah and a puppy yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, the was, puppy that, was, that was him on my second draft oh, wow. that's what I'm he was sounding on sarah i'm so pleased we finally got on your show thank you so much, so much the me. fabulous sarah pascal ladies and gentlemen <laughs> thank you so much.